I can only see 17,500 miles away. You need to wake up on this one right here. This is more like cartoon. But this more like, you know, we got a higher dome. You need to wake up on this one right here. This is more like cartoon. But this more like, you know, we got a higher dome. But at the same time, they show you, yes, ghosts living on and there and all of that shit. And it's standing on pillow now in the water. Garbage. 100% garbage. This more realistic. High dome right there. Sun and the moon in there moving around. Yes, that's more like it. Bam! And a lot of people go ask one question when you see this dome right here. They call it Ferniman. A lot of people don't understand. What is it? It's a diamond. Bam! What the fuck? Diamonds? I'm gonna be rich. 100% is a diamond and a lot of people don't understand BAM! that's what the fucking dome is made of okay 100% take it or leave it the thing that cover you that you look up and you see it I love diamonds yes clear like a glass it is a diamond BAM! 100% the top of the earth is a diamond it's made out of diamond the hardest surface ever on this earth that's what you need to know bam this right here is a perfect replica of the earth no doubt about it yes that's why i don't take this one right here because it's too low to the corner you understand this this is not realistic right here to me this more like it right here high top this is more it right here and i told you it made out of diamonds 100 percent the top made out of diamond 100 percent and they know it and bam and bam and they're tricking the dumb masses 100 percent it's a damn trickery yes and once you admit that you've been tricked this one is not the earth because as you can see the sun is out of it the sun gotta be under the blue sky that's what you need to know and they told you yes it's water all the way up in the sky diamond bam bam yes it is a diamond remember diamond is hard but you still see to it like a glass and there you go you see the sun you see the moon it don't have to tap on so you can't buy that one this more look like the flat earth right there but the sun gotta be in it you understand bam which one is more realistic to man this is fake right here 100 percent in this is not this is a mockery right here no doubt this more look like the earth right there the bam i dome i dome made out of diamond bam of all domes everywhere bam 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 but take a look at it it's the earth itself you see that's the real earth 100 percent take a look at the top just like you go to starbucks and they give you that coffee when you order your mocha or whatever they put that round top on it right there all of this shit right here prove that that's how the earth look right there and bam you see it it's not a full globe it's a flat earth with a dome right there wake your ass up and bam 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 Bam, 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 bam. Piece of shit. The only reason why they call it stupid is because uh, videos like that, people that are going to look into the flat earth, they come across this uh, garbage, run away, and call it stupid. Jeez. From the globe CGI model to the flat earth CGI model. Uh -huh. So the evening and the morning were the fourth day. Yeah. Now notice the lights are set in the firmament. Yeah. In the firmament. You know, like mm. I can take a bowl. Yeah. And imagine yeah. a bowl is the dome. A dome. That needs a circle of earth. Look what they made for you, flat soid. You cast it correctly. It's the biblical model, the biblical flat earth model, I must say. Oh, <laughs> look those stars circling in the dome. And look at those stars in the south, going from east to west. In the ferment, so it's inside. Yeah, absolutely. Right. 
Uh-huh. Even PJ Crankshaft knows all about biblical cosmology. Oh, look at dome with stars in it. Oh, wow. Homemade star trails. Look at that. <laughs> look at the star trails in the south. <laughs> you see that flat side? Straight, horizontal lines, flat side. <laughs> that must be the biblical flat earth model. <laughs> <laughs> flat soil. Why don't you debug your own biblical flat earth model? So stars move in a horizontal line from a east to west. So looking south. Flat soil. It looks like biblical cosmology is totally wrong. Do you agree? And you think biblical cosmology can save your life when you lost at sea and you need to do celestial navigation? I think you die. <laughs> Just trust me. What about time lapse of the Star Trails? Mm -hmm. that That's what I'm saying. That Why would you look at that away? and see the time and my feet's moving? <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, we can show if you take a dome and you have the lights moving through the dome, they give the star trails we see. So I don't know mm -hmm. what the issue is. <laughs> Flat soil. You see no issue? You need some extra pair of glasses, idiot. Flat side, you make a lot of claims about things we see and not see. Have you ever seen 5,000 kilometers away, Rachel? But okay, Rachel, again. It. So, when last have you seen 5,000 miles away? So, 5,000 miles away. Okay. Is Are there clouds between you and the star? Is there dust in the air? Moisture. Moisture. I'm going back to the argument and trying to explain to you why we don't see Polaris. <sighs> Okay, at the equator. Okay, below the equator, farther than equator. You can't resolve Polaris past the equator. It's just too far. Oh, we can't see Polaris from the equator because it's too far. 10,000 kilometer or 6,200 miles. But flat soil, according to your uh, biblical cosmology, and God's data, the celestial data, you can see 25,000 kilometer or 17,500 miles, whatever. That's what your flat earth biblical cosmology model needs, flat soil. It's clear when we look at the data and the ideas of a biblical cosmology model, flat earth model, it contradicts itself, flat side. According to your biblical cosmology, we can't see Polaris from the equator, which is about 6,000 miles, but we can see a star in a dome at 25,000 kilometer or 17,500 miles. What kind of logic is that, flat side? Let's say the reason we have celestial data is because your God created the celestial bodies. Do you agree with that? Okay, let's see. We have a star here, Capella. That's this location, 30 south, 90 east. And this is the sun at the opposite side with an altitude of 77 and an azimut of 308. Flat side. Your claim is that stars circling in a dome. So measuring from this location, north, 
is about 25,000 kilometer flat side. <laughs> you can't resolve Polaris past the equator, it's just too far. Flat side, do you understand this? Or you keep pushing your uh, biblical uh, flat earth model? Which is totally wrong. And according to your biblical cosmology model, you have to see the star through daylight flat side. Do you understand that? To believe in this biblical uh, cosmology flat earth model, you need to have a mental issue. And most people at Flat Sword Channel have that. <laughs> Can't resolve Polaris past the equator, it's just too far. Star circling it on clearly don't work. So we have to place the star way closer. Probably in the circle of sight of the observer. Flat Sword. Does that imaginary guy that wears a dress, I mean, uh, Jesus, support your biblical cosmology flat earth model? If yes, then uh, you both preach the wrong model. You are false preachers, flat side. <laughs> flat side. How many times I have to show this? You act like a baller. And hold on to your beliefs, which are nothing more than beliefs, flat side. <laughs> but I don't think uh, you believe it. I think you uh, must uh, push the wrong shit for the colorful religion flirts. You know, the one uh, that you deceive and ask donations from. Yeah, you're uh, just uh, a small head shield, flat side. Flat side, I don't think you're going to happen if you keep pushing this bullshit. I think God will lock you up with a guy in the dress and he got a 20 inch strap on. <laughs> That's hell, piece of shit. <laughs> I can only see 17,500 miles away. Don't trip over your bed. Oh, oops.
piece of shit.